Yes, Madam Speaker. Uh, according to information uh, which appeared in the press, uh, the police officer gave, officers gave reason for non-assistance to this case that they were busy with a road accident. But is a Honorable Minister Mento, uh, is he uh, aware that in the diary book of the police station, nothing is mentioned for the road accident? Is he aware of this information? I'm not aware of this information. And uh, I, I believe that we should not go by what is published in the newspapers, especially <coughs> the newspapers that we have in this country. Yes. Yes. Madam Speaker, since the Honorable uh, Minister Mentor mentioned that he, he, did, he don't go by the newspaper, I would advise him to go by the security camera, because the security camera revealed that the police officers were sitting in their place and they were not attending any road accident. So can I ask the Honorable Minister Mento to see to it that there is no cover-up in this case? Well, I have already talked to the Commissioner of Police. I, myself, I consider what has happened as being very serious. And that the inquiry should be held in such a way as to cover every aspect of the case and action must be taken and so far I'm concerned if these people are found guilty they must be dismissed from the force. B898 Madam Speaker, with your permission, I will answer this question. The HN Pelro Street falls under the jurisdiction of the City Council of Port Louis. I am informed by the National Development Unit that the following works have been earmarked for implementation in this financial year. Resurfacing of HN Pelro Street, Plan Vert, Corner Sousaga Ramgulam Street, and of Mariamem Temple Street, Port Louis, and upgrading of drains at HN Pelro Street, that is the corner David of Mariamem Temple Street near Dinas, Port Louis. I'm informed by the Road Development Authority that it has already constructed a cross drain to the tune of 340,000 rupees at Royal Road to resolve the issue of flooding in that location. As regards the Port Louis Central Flag Road, and Ambert Combi, Queen Elizabeth Road, I'm informed that these roads and drains are in good condition. If that is not the case, I'm proposing that uh, we'll have a survey to consider whether additional works have to be carried out. Yes, Madam Speaker, uh, in relation to part A of the question, uh, HN Pillow Street is a very busy one because it leads to the immigration uh, station, bus station. So uh, my question to you, the Honorable Minister is that he, whether you can see to it that when the road is resurfaced, the existing tar is being removed first. Because what happened in Port Louis is that they, they pile up the tar on the road and, and the level increases and this creates a lot of problems. So can I ask the Honorable Minister to see to it but it is being removed first and then new tower is being placed. I will certainly do that, Madam Speaker. Yes. On the second part of the question, uh, true it is that part of the work has been done, that is a cross drain has been constructed on Royal Street, but it, it's only half of the work that has been done. It has to be completed because the level of the drain is not good and this is causing a lot of problems, especially with heavy rains coming. So I will uh, uh, accept the request of the Honorable Minister that a survey be done there, so as to situate what can be done. We will certainly do that, Madam Speaker. E899.
Madam Speaker, I am informed by the Commissioner of Police that his office received a letter <coughs> from the United Chinese Associations on 18th, 18th January 2019 requesting the installation of CCTV camera surveillance system under the Safe City Project at Guamao San Cemetery. A survey has already been carried out at Guamao San Cemetery and a, pro and a proposal to install CCTV cameras there is being finalized. Necessary clearances are being sought from appropriate stakeholders. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, I really hope that this uh, goes ahead, that this CCTV camera is being placed at the entrance of the cemetery Chinese section. Madam Speaker, I have raised this issue several times in the House since 2015. And uh, can I ask the Honorable Minister Mento to see to it that uh, cameras is installed not only at the entrance of the cemetery, but also according to this letter uh, for better monitoring of overpass, that is where uh, M2 highway, because there are problems of numerous throwing of rocks to passing vehicle that have been recorded at this place. Can this also problem be tackled at the same time? The question is about the symmetry. And uh, the request, as I have already answered, survey has already been carried out at Bois-Marsan Cemetery, and a proposal to install CCTV cameras there at is being finalized. Speaker, it is with deep regret and anger at the same time that I have to say that constituency number three is the most neglected one in terms of traffic congestion by the police. And therefore, uh, I would like to ask the Honorable Minister Mento if he is aware that from the junction of Route Militaire and Route des Pamplemousses, and by the way, you, you did not mention Route des Pamplemousses, which is also a classified road, Route des Pamplemousses and Defosi Street, SSR Street, there is not a single police officer from AM to PM. Not a single officer. I have no numerous occasions raised in the House. So is Honorable uh, Mr. Mento aware of this situation and can he see to it what needful is being done, what police officers are posted at this busiest road of the capital? <coughs> I must confess I'm not aware of the situation, but to place police officers everywhere like this, we have to increase the number considerably. We will have to recruit a lot more of police officers. Please don't interrupt the Minister Mento. And therefore, for the time being, I know that we don't have enough number of police officers to do what the Honourable Member is asking us to do. Yes, ma